find the lengths of the sides of the triangle PQR. Is it a right triangle? Is it an isosceles triangle? So we have points 2, negative 1, 0, 4, 1, 1, and 4, negative 5, 4. So for, first we want to split up this, uh, these points into segments of the triangle. So we have PQ, PR, and QR. So these three segments compose the triangle. So now to find the dis distance between the points, we can apply the distance formula for points, which is, I'll just write out the formula, d equals square root of x minus x1 squared plus y minus y1 squared plus z minus z1 squared. So now if you apply those to our segments for PQ, we would get 4 minus 2 squared plus 1 minus minus 1, which is plus 1 squared plus 1 minus 0 squared. And this equals the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1, which is square root of 9, so this equals 3. So now for PR, the distance equals 4 minus 2 squared, plus negative 5 minus minus 1 squared, which is a plus 1, plus 4 minus 0 squared, and this equals 2 squared, which is 4, negative 4 squared, which is 16, 4 squared, which is 16, which is the square root of 36, which equals 6. So now if we find the distance of the line segment QR, we get distance is... 4 minus 4 squared plus negative 5 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 1 squared, which equals 0 plus 30, 36 plus 9, which equals the square root of 45. Uh, we can simplify this, uh, uh, but let's just keep it in this form, which will might, might make it easier when we try to prove it's an isosceles or a right triangle. Or actually, let's simplify it first. So you have 3, 15, 3, 5. This equals 3 root 5. So we know it's not an isosceles triangle, cause, because for an isosceles, you need to have two equal sides. So let's try to figure out if it's a right triangle. So we know right triangles conform to this formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. And a and b are both the legs of the triangle. And we know the hypotenuse is going to be the greatest, the greatest side length. So if you look, if you compare 3 and 6, we know 6 is greater than 3. So this is a potential to be hypotenuse. But if you compare it to 3 root 5, we know that um, 3 root 5 is bigger than 6. And we can just look at this because this is square root of 36, this is square root of 45. So since we know so we know 3 and 6 need to be the legs and square root of 45 needs to be the hypotenuse. So let's see if it equals this equation. So we have, we can just do PQ squared plus PR squared equals QR squared. And we have 3 squared plus 6 squared equals, so this is where I want to keep in the square root of 45, because it's going to make this calculation easier. 45 squared. 9 plus 36 equals 45. 45 equals 45. So triangle PQR is a right triangle.
and we can look at the graph, the three D graph of this to uh, prove it. Well, not prove it, but to uh, visualize it. We just proved it. So let me go over to my grapher, and as you can see, we have this triangle, and you can see that QR is the hypotenuse, while um, PQ and PR are the legs. And you can kind of see the right triangle right here. It's hard to get into perfect view, but we do have a right triangle, and the right angle is right here. 